Hello and welcome back to my shameless dive. Today we have Terraformers. The red planet awaits. Now, hopefully by now you know that I love space. And also love city builders. And also love space city builders. So when I saw this pop up, I was like, yes. And I figured I should give it a go. Especially when one of my friends was playing it. He said it was pretty good. I was like, well, okay, I'll give it a go then. So this is Terraformers. It is the 2023 game released by Asteroid Lab. And it has been in early access for a while. And I've been having it on my wish list since back then. Um, it's finally came out just recently. And I am very much looking forward to seeing what it is like. So first of all, options. Okay. Sure, it's fairly basic. Nothing too strange there. I don't really know what sort of game this is. I just know it's sort of like a, a board game. So, if you just see how well it goes. Alright. Well, that's very direct. No um, starting sequence or anything. Just a lovely little card here. It says, Welcome. Welcome to the Mars Colonization Project. A small step for the first colonists, but a giant leap for mankind. The shuttle has landed and your people are ready to settle on the red planet. Everyone on the ship is aware of the historic importance of this mission and the great responsibility resting on their shoulders. Their lives will be spent beneath this, the domes of artificial habitats. But they are not here for themselves. They are here for the future of the human race. It will be a long time before a human can breathe Martian air. But everyone's willing to make the work damn tirelessly to make sure that day arrives. Earth has sent resources to start your settlement and proposed some leaders to help re represent your Mars. Okay, 50 power, 29, um, we literally eat nothing but cabbages. I don't want to eat cabbages at the best of times, let alone if it's the only option I have, but okay. Anyway, we have 10 water and we have 5 titanium. I'm going to guess titanium is fairly important, but 5, that's not very much, so we can create a lot more. Mars is a new frontier. The little red planet offers many opportunities for those seeking to start a new life. Your goal is to create a self-sustaining sustaining colony that provides pleasant conditions for human population and may one day even become independent. When this bar is full, victory is achieved. So, okay. Fair enough. While developing a col colony, pay attention to the support of your people. When it reaches zero, the Mars colonization, colonization project will be deemed a failure. Uh, keep your people's support up by constructing buildings that provide support, growing your population, and terraforming the planet. Every few years, the expectations of the colonists will rise. You'll need to be satisfied with this mission to be a success. Let's start by choosing a leader. Alright, so we have two people here. We have Pekai Ayad, who seems okay. And we've got Thomas Foster, who also seems... Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, they don't really seem to lead us out, but let's, have, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about them. So, Pekai here. Started as a young activist for women's rights in Afghanistan, won a Nobel Prize for her efforts. Well, I mean, if that isn't a, uh... If that isn't someone who's, um, a good leader? Okay. Um, when the Mars Colonization Project was announced, she decided to leave Earth behind hoping to mold the emerging Martian society according to her vision. While her influence guaranteed equality of opportunity for all Martian set settlers, her zealous crusade for justice afforded her reputation of cynicism in the name of a greater good. Depends on what your greater good is, I suppose. I don't really want, um, I don't really want, like, a religious crusade happening from my Mars colony, right? Alright, you can explore. The furthest away from this colony is the higher cost of power, okay. Industrial lob lobbying, so gain one water, titanium, tritium, nitrates, and silicates. I don't know if that's once off or per month, but okay. And interclass dialogue center, construct the interclass dialogue center for th free, which provides support per turn. Okay, so she'll make it a little bit easier for us to actually keep going here. Pretty cities. When you found a new city, gain 2 plus support. I do like things which increase my support when I gain cities. So that's nice. As opposed to before. Alright, exploration. Ooh, I do like exploration. Thomas made the headlines for his daring expeditions to Earth's most remote locations and joined the Mars Colonization Project to unravel the planet's 
the red planet's terra incognita. He climbed Mount Everest in his early 20s, explored the harsh landscapes of Antarctica and the Sahara Desert, and mapped out previously undiscovered underwater caves. The mountainous landscape and harsh weather conditions of Mars offer the perfect challenge for a seasoned explorer. Question is, is he here to be a leader? Or is he here to explore? Okay. So he also explores. Yes, they all do. Mine resources. Select a resource while was it? Mine five of that resources. With bonus to plus one for large deposits and two plus for gigantic deposits. This skill costs power equal to the distance to the chosen resource deposit. Okay, I think out of those two, it depends on if it's once off or twice. I, I assume it's a skill we can use multiple times, so I think hers looks sounds more useful. But never own five is quite a lot as well. Supply station corrected because our supply station is free. Exploration missions by your leader can be untaken from here. This project cannot be relocated. Okay. And finally, silicates boost. Increase your silicates production by one for every new three silicates you start producing. Honestly, I think that Pekai seems like she'd offer a more chance of me actually succeeding. So I'm going to go for Pekai. Nice to meet you. I'm Pekai Yard. Let's get to work. Increasing the population will let us expand our city and gain some initial support. Population requires food. That has kindly provided us with the essential projects to produce food and grow our daily population. Let us visit our city, where we can construct a greenhouse farm. Alright. Oh, this is giving me um, old school civilization vibes. So that's cool. This is our first Martian city. Here we construct buildings. The maximum amount of buildings in the city here is shown above. It's dictated by the amount of population and robots. So you construct new buildings, select the project, and drag it to the place you wish to build it. Let's build the greenhouse farm now. Okay. Can I build it far away? Or do I want to build it far away? Let's see what this one does. Habitation module. It doesn't actually say anything about... I'm going to put it here. As you may have noticed, project costs resources. We should explore nearby locations to prospect more resources. We should find a resource deposit and set up a mine. Exploring is one of my skills. Let's explore a location for a large, a large hint of a resource. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's go. There we go. Let's press the back button. All right, so we got a uh, lovely Mars here. Some. Nice, relaxing, Marsy music in the background. That's nice. Um, we've got a few areas we can explore to. Yeah, I feel like there's not going to be any rain here. No, because we're once again still kind of dead here. All right, let's have a look here. So, we got a large hint of titanium over here. A large hint of nitrites over here. Small hint of titanium, small hint of scientific interest. All right, well, I guess the best option then is going to be right here. So... Let's go over there. So, explore. One power. Seems reasonable. The resource prospection of the location has developed to reveal the deposit of titanium, as well as small hints of nitrate. Okay. It is a titanium deposit. Fantastic. We found a deposit. We'll need to expand our city's location with the deposit on it before we can build a mine on it. Each population or robots in the city allows us to expand one more location. We don't have enough food at the moment to build a habitation module project to increase our production. But as our greenhouse farm produces one food per turn, we'll have enough food by next turn. Let's end the turn uh, by pressing the circular button to the right of the screen. Okay. Ooh, exploration milestone. And I do like the titanium. Um, I do like the titanium deposits, so that's nice. We just built our city over there. Alright, well, we've got nothing else we can do, so let's go. Looks like we've got our other abilities now, which is nice. We each year have three projects we propose, which you can research one. Researching a project allows you to construct it later, once you require the resources. Okay, so we got another greenhouse farm. We have the ability to create adjacent population. Okay, power. All right, that's power. That seems relatively useful. Yes, but we don't have enough tritium for that. Now, we did find nitrates, so the laboratory for science might be a good idea. Let's grab that. Not sure this will work out great, but that's okay. All right, increase our population so we can shove a habitation module down. 
we'll put it away from the farm because not really Ooh! oh yeah it's definitely giving me civ vibes old school even like the castle building or like civilization one or two that's really nice leave the city could also click the right mouse button okay well that helps all right so each population of robots lets your city to expand to a new location I'm going to go to the one that has a resource deposit and I'm going to build a mine which apparently costs full power but not maintains full power but does give us one titanium per turn so that's fairly good I guess I assume eventually we want a, a deposit of each type right now I'm also going to assume we can explore a location these are more expensive so I'm going to start with this one right down here because it's got it's got large hint of nitride so it's very possible we'll find something here all right we collected the resources and we got a nitrates deposit which is good all right cool cool so that is nice I see we get one we get one skill per turn apparently and we can choose any of them okay that's fine all right so another habitation module which allows us to expand to nitrites we could do a tuba farm but quite frankly we've already got food so there's not like a point in a tuba farm right now we could get a generator but at the moment we've got plenty of food so i think at the moment my best bet is another habitation module it'll take a very long time to get that though so oh boy look around the planet by holding down left mouse button i've worked that okay let's keep exploring all right well these are apparently exploration milestones i still feel like i want to explore the nearby places to be first so we'd have a good idea about where i'm going so hmm at the moment we're getting two is there any reason i might want to go faster like if i build this into class dialogue center it is free it provides three support per turn i feel like i kind of want one of these and i feel like getting one sooner rather than later is good because i don't know what the limit is but uh, it might help so let's make people nice and happy so we'll put it right next to this other one it's a free building provides a boatload of stuff so yeah and we'll give us a little bit more resources on our way to um yeah it'll give us a little bit more happiness which i assume is a good resource to get early earth has established a permanent trade route okay that's great all right we've got a few more things we built once again i think the laboratory is is good we're almost there we've already got a habitation module so i guess that means power is the way to go we need to put away from our stuff a little mining operation set up we've gained a little more autonomy but we're still missing some other resources they can be acquired via a trade route that earth has set up with us okay so for example if i wanted to say buy food and see if i export no no see i've got to do the opposite it's, it's the opposite i need to import food see i would like to export hmm problem is i'm only getting one from this mine so far unless it can be upgraded i really don't want to give away my only titanium <sighs> i guess it's okay for a short period of time all right let's just do that for now looks like it's fine all right so once again we can explore a little bit close so let's do that let's go for this one up here so it says a bit of cleanup this building will be a perfect location for a large building the resource survey has revealed a small hint of titanium okay but it's just a building it's uh oh it's a high plateau apparently and did reveal a lot more resources that's interesting there the temperature is rather low though so this isn't a very comfortable place yeah i think this place is better to explore currently so that's fine all right turn again all right once again ooh, we can actually afford a robot hub it provides us with two robots it says maximum buildings and populations the city can have the population only has support equal to comfort living i mean given that um, it does expand us more territory it might be worth it i'll have it but i don't want to build it yet even if i can't afford it or do i want to because like it depends on like does it drain anything it doesn't seem to we do have the power and we do have the titanium so okay 
let's also put this here. It'll block off the power generation because the power generation says no happiness, but we put the power generator there. It's fine. Okay, so there we go. We've got two more that we can expand to now. It's fine. Okay, so I expanded two more tiles. I could expand to make a nitrites mine, which is probably not a bad idea. So let's expand there. All right, nitrates, build a mine there. Fantastic. Now we have three resources incoming every turn. Now I want to explore a little bit more because obviously we don't have anywhere else to expand to. Okay, nothing crazy there. We did either find some tritium up there, so at least some there. Okay, everything is definitely not very good at the moment. I'll, I will say that much. So that's okay. At the moment, we don't have anywhere I really want to explore to. I want more mines, so that's... Yeah, I think Olympus Mons might be the next place to go. Because um, it's got a fair amount of chance of having something interesting in it. So let's just go. Ooh, that was cool. To help with exploration efforts, Earth has de uh, delivered an array of exploration satellites. That's map remote regions from comfort of our homes. All right. Okay. Now this one is public baths. Costs 14 water, but gives support. Currently the support isn't too major. I also don't know how rare these things are. I think at the moment, another greenhouse farm is probably the way to save for. Just get another one. I don't know how many we can have, but sure. Eh, satellites don't consume any power. So if I say wanted to go all the way out here with the exploration satellites. Oh, cool. Large meteorite. I can just still gain the resources. I can gather the food. Very nice. And I got to see there was a large meteorite there, which is um, nice. It can be used for multiple things. So it says, while prosper the area, explorers have stumbled across a recent crater where the meteorite is still visible. They normally have pulverized the entry on impact, but this one has a rare opportunity combined entry, speed, and angle, mass density, etc., to survive. We can study it. So, we can build a dike to protect it against being, okay, oceanified. Sounds useful. We can research it. Okay. Or we can harvest its resources. Research sounds most useful, but as I said, I don't want to expand out there just yet. So, let's see what I was going to do, and that's explore the Olympus Mons. An old volcano, which has been inactive for billions of years. That's to be active again. Ooh, that would be good from a... That would be very good for terraforming. They are definitely happy about that too. Good. So it says here, Dormant Volcano. I can restart the volcano, apparently. If I get 25 tritium. Damages all regional city and buildings. Neighboring regional cities and buildings. Empty locations become rich soil. Or become dead volcano location. Okay. Kind of a shame I have a mine here, but apart from that, interesting. I still don't want to expand there just yet. So, yes. Also, building actions, most of them will have recharge time for the weeds again. It's fine. Oh, and that's that. Three tiles. We get one free explorer -ish each time. All right, so once again, I have Robotics Hub. Don't think I need more expansion just yet. Laboratory would be good if I had some silicates. It's like a little Marsha, which, um, let's see. This population is fully protected by radiation. Okay. Both population and robot. Okay, we get that. Okay, and it puts one more. Oh. Nice. So that's that's something for if I go to a territory that's got a lot of radiation, maybe? I don't know what place will exist like that, but uh, okay. Now, it does make me sort of feel like the next place I should explore is up here with the small hints of tritium. Because if there's even a tiny chance that is a mine, I would uh, very much like to get it. Um, but then again, I also would have to explore, expand two tiles to get to it, so... Wait a second, I get it. The rocky plains of a building a brand new city, maybe. No, it wouldn't be. I mean, it could be. Seeing large plains. It would be nice if it was good for a city. Hmm. Guess we'll find out if we expand to one of those, I suppose. But for now... Hmm. This one, or this one? This one, I can just expand to straight away. 
This one I can't. Okay, let's just stay over here for now. Alright, we got a resource, a 20 support, and two more titanium. And we got a cave. It's a lava tube. A city can be founded here. Okay, never mind. That's how cities are founded. Select this location for more information. Cities in lava tubes receive 50% less damage from sandstorms. Oh. Fascinating. Look at this. Anomaly. Anomaly. Well, that's cool. Okay, so it's pretty crap in comparison. Ooh, but if I could make this place work, that would be lovely. Very nice. Okay, so that's how it does it. Alright, well, that's interesting then. Can I just, like, remove this? Yeah, I can. Just click it and remove it. That's, that's okay. Alright, I need to get these power generators up. Which means I need more tritium. So I've got to do this next time around. Alright, raising expectations. As commonly grows and basic amenities become more common, so are people's expectations. The early hardships of the early years are soon forgotten in a warm bed. Nourishing food and regular entertainment are no longer considered luxuries, but requirements of a comfortable life. Um, your hardworking colonists expect their work to pay off, so it's only natural their expectations rise as time goes on. That is fair. Every few years, the population go the population goes up. You'll excuse me. I want to. Uh, okay. Oh shoot! It's already down by five. Holy hell! Okay. That's nice. Okay, this one we can just build straight away. This is a waste incinerator. Costs three power. Okay, plus one power if the if if the third turn if there's three food is produced within the city. Well, that's useful, but only if I can get more food. So it might be good to have. Now this one, on the other hand, entertainment center provides a population by three support per turn. This one just seems like the other building I have that she has for free, but worse because it requires there to be population. Although it could be higher if I had two population buildings around it or even more. I think for now I might grab, a, grab the waste incinerator. Yes, I, I get it. I get it. It's fine. I just, nothing has really happened at the moment, so... I haven't really expanded too much just yet, annoyingly. So, hmm. Wish we could find some more cases of water. Let's go to the tritium. It's going to cost a little bit more power and pretty soon we're going to run out. I guess I could just use the industrial lobbying for a few turns instead, which would help out. I also don't know if this import thing is working or not. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Unexplored location. Let's see it. Alright, exploration report. A crater! Now this will be a great location to start a city. This location has a feature landmark, which will surely be a symbolic landmark for our people. It also has tritium. A little bit of it. Ah, but that is a large hint of tritium. Alright, so this one requires a zero comfort living, meaning population here will produce a base level of zero. Okay. That's fine. I think this is a good one, though. Hmm. I guess there's no reason not to found it. Oh, except the lack of our food and water. Damn it. Okay. I feel like we really, really would like a little bit of water nearby to where I am, but anyway. Yes, directly down south is a small chance of water. Not to mention a big happy face, which is always helpful. I definitely want to explore here with my next um, asteroid, so that's okay. Right. At the moment, though... We really need to get more food. For multiple reasons. So this wasting Sarah can do stuff. So. 
Now it does say by default it produces some power, I think. I don't see where though. Wait, where does it say plus one? Oh no, it doesn't. It only produces it if there's three fuel food. That is quite an expensive way of doing it, yes. Alright. Okay, I really want the food, so I've got to keep that going. Assuming it even is going. Because realistically, I would like to trade. And I don't see any buttons to do that. Maybe if I click on it? Nope. Okay. Oh boy, we do not have very long till we, uh... Okay. We're fine. So I guess the question then becomes, should we just build more robot hubs? But we also... Uh, don't want to have to just rely on robots. That's the only problem. It is fairly cheap though. It's a lot cheaper than habitation. Ah, screw it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we can still explore or get some water and other stuff through this. Now, to get this up, I need 10 water. We're going to get one from doing that, but it might be a good idea. We've also got a little bit of time left because it does appear like the years. Um, maybe we're just very close to the end of that year because it feels like that year went very quickly. Well, we can explore the location, so we can do the titanium thing up here. Trinium thing up here. Okay, more cranium. Got some food. Fantastic. And there is a trinium deposit there. Now that is good. Okay, so we do have a trinium deposit, which means this place is going to be great to build as soon as we get the 10 water. So we've got to focus on exploring places with water, if possible. Which means this is the only choice we have, because it does have a small amount of water. Yep. Small amount of water. Fantastic. Now this is even better. And flat plains. A city can be found here. Oh, hello. And it's got fertile soil. And a natural site. Did we just go to the absolute worst place to build a city? Because it feels like this place is like the most boring place of all. Okay. On the one hand, I want the tritium deposit. Because tritium. On the other hand, that one has fertile soil. Which is like double on the food. But I can't build it yet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, but it does get me very close to a water deposit, which would then help me get this other place. So yeah, sure, let's just wait a little bit longer then. So that's okay. Alright, I think that's all we can really do right now, unless I want... Can I expand down there? No, see if I... I don't know if I need to expand down here. Because all adjacent locations need to be explored before we can sell this location. Oh! Oh shoot, I've got to explore everywhere before I can... Well, that seems a little bit tough. We hadn't done that when we landed here, but fair enough. Alright, well I guess that should be our main focus then, shouldn't it? Because I think this is the best location for a city we've currently got, although oxygen level is quite low. Rain is non-existent, obviously, so it's... the temperature's fine though, so that's that's okay. So yeah, there's only three places we have to explore, so it's, it's not going to take too long. So it's, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, so, requires 22 nitrates, just as much as we need. It produces a soil factory, which produces adjacent food producers, production facilities, build 1 plus food per turn. Shit. That is actually fantastic, but it does unfortunately mean that I definitely placed this robot hub in the wrong place. So, shoot. So put that up there. And build this, which will increase our food supply by 1, which means now we're producing 2. Because we only just need to build this, and then we'll get to four, and then we can build this waste incinerator somewhere else. So this is good. It's good. In fact, we can technically build a marsha here, but we don't really need it because it's not really a grass amount. In fact, we actually build lots of things right now. We have the 30 food, which is nice. All right, let's save it, though, because we need to explore and get water, and I'm guessing that's what we're going to get here. If we get 10 water from this, okay, five water. Yeah, it's, it works. It does have an aquifer, however, so we could... Extract water for oceans. Not useful for us now, but a mine, very useful. Okay, so that's good. That's one region explored. 
Now, question is then we want to get the other region up here to get water. No, we'll get this region down here. It has water and we need to explore it so we can colonize. So that's okay. At the moment, though, I think that's all we can do. I don't want to expand my city yet because I don't see what the point of expanding this city would be any further. Okay? At the moment, at least. All right. Oh, election year. Oh, boy. Okay. It's election year, but... I'm choosing the leaders. Okay. So, okay, Pekai is just retiring. Okay, sure, thanks. You were actually very useful. Um, I did build your free building, which was nice. I kind of wish I could have built in some other buildings, but that's okay. <laughs> we do have... We'll lose the industrial lobbying, but we never use it anyway. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We've got Gustav who loves artificial intelligence. He's an expert in simulation programming, created the last colonization simulation with the help of George Domromedo. Okay, Swedish mother, Armenian father, okay. We met at a demo scene event. He was always fascinated by the possibilities of computing. He understands the importance of testing new real-world applications in a controlled environment of complex simulation and is providing complex environment sims for governments around the world. His expertise would greatly benefit our research branch, which we don't have yet. So it increases your science production by one for every six robots you conduct, can construct. Nowhere near on that. Gain two more projects proposed this term. Gain three science. Oh, that's cool. Um, generate energy. Five power. Okay, that's... He's looking real nice. And I don't just mean the fact he looks like bloody... Um, a little bit like Link. From Rhett and Link. All right, you like construction. I like construction. So let's see. Jorge's extensive use. Wait, isn't that the guy he, he worked with before? Yeah, Jorge Dromedo. So these guys are just basically pals. They both did the same thing. All right. I feel like I can't go wrong here. Uh, 3D printed models revolutionized the architecture on Earth. His build methods of building high density apartment complexes and arcologies from fiber reinforced polymer offers offer the perfect balance between flexibility and easy maintenance. He came to the field of architecture through his passion for designing complex 3D structures on his computer. He's never seen fast tablet PC. He's expert in designing houses, modules for regions and past forever with great use of Mars. Okay. Constructing regional buildings costs less resources. That sounds alright. Um, receives two modular apartments projects which cost food and titanium and produce one okay nothing too crazy there however it does say these two work well together to increase support okay earth works destroy two rocks for free this term that would be so much more useful next time around i think i'm gonna have to go for gustav so gustav we have you oh a university oh i like that produces one size per turn and Okay, increases adjacent science produ production production but blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. That's nice, but it's kind of expensive. Like, 22. This one, a road paver depot, provides three expansions. Huh. That is interesting. So it doesn't increase the number of pops, but it does increase the number of expansions. In a pinch, that might be a good idea. And it's only 10 titanium, so... Alright, fine. Hello, Gustav. You're saying the exact same thing she did. Okay. Well, okay, we're also down to negative 4 support, which isn't fantastic. I'm glad I had the excess for when I did that, but um, that's not good. We need to explore again. So let's explore down here. Get some more water. Canyon view. Ooh, comfortable living. To the surrounding areas that is very nice okay very good right that's fine so i guess we'll keep going all right we've got an exhaust processor can be placed one per city one silicate for every three mines mo owned by this city that's cool just gets trace silicates okay nitrates once again for food okay a courthouse provides two comfort of living that feels good, but feels kind of late game. I'm going to build this one instead. Okay, let's explore this last territory. Because then... Are we up to 10 water? Yes, we're over 10 water. Which means this one does nothing. Okay, so kind of useless. But, found city. 
Ah, we can name it. Um, okay, I wish I could go back out and have a look at the area more. Uh, okay, we're going here for, for water, right? So... And also birds, so... It's called Pelicans, Roos. There we go. Alright, we can place the headquarters. Now, what does the headquarters actually do? I guess it doesn't do anything but expand our territory from. Now, this is good for food, which means we want to have the food increasing thing there eventually. We could place it here. Adjacent population provides three spots. We want two, we want two um, homes here. We can build one straight away, pretty much. So that's fine. Um, hmm. Not sure what I'm going to build next. I feel like it doesn't really matter, though. I can build anywhere as long as there's no rocks. Which means that, realistically, as long as I clear that rock, I'm good. So, let's build over here. There's nothing over here. It should be fine. There we go. Perfect. Even has a free population. Very nice. I'll remove that fine all right so we're definitely gonna put more food here is um where i'm getting at here this is, seems a great place for population and for food so that's nice it does say population is found here but apparently no it does not have that building a second city however did get us up to um the next level apparently which is odd i'm not sure where that went from but okay all right I guess it'll take no it's there all right oh we can also build another exploratory thing so um and we know water's here we know the stuff's up here okay another okay let's just do the thing up here because it'll cost a little bit or do i go really far out like somewhere we wouldn't want to explore ourselves yeah probably go really far out okay food perfect and Location will be submerged for the Oceanized Level 3. Okay, fair enough. I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. In fact, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to get there in this game. Okay. So that's fine. At the moment, I think we're good. There's nothing else we really do until we start building the food. We'll be able to build a lot of food here, though. So we need to find more resources and things. This will be nice because it will increase the uh, comfort of living. Which is nice. I also do wonder, can I expand out that way? No, I can't. I also don't want to expand that way because it's where my other city is going to be. Um, yeah, see, I don't see any reason to expand the city at all. It's kind of stuck in this place. Ah, okay, so I can clear that later. I don't know if there's any research I can actually do yet, but sure. Alright, let's go. Oh, you know, oh shoot. Okay, I can sell it for science though. So, I think at this point, I've got plenty of expansions. I don't need the robots. So, let's just throw up trash. We've got a little bit of science. It's fine. Alright, so. Resource support. To increase their prestige, three corporations offering to send up a trade route to supply city with valuable resource support of choice. Due to logistical considerations, only one trade route can be reliably maintained. Okay. We've got a lot of tritium now, but um, we, are, we haven't built a mine yet, so tritium might be an option. Silicates we have quite rare, but we, we're very close to building a silicate factory. Nitrates would be handy. I think we need nitrates for building farms and stuff and surprisingly I would have thought tritium actually yeah I still need <sighs> any of these would be good choices at this point let's go tritium I've been trying to go for it for a while now Ooh, what's this a landing pad large flat surface for pace of the spaceship spaceships drop off their cargo okay so there is a reason to have those um, empty spots gotcha Okay, sure. And you know what? Hmm. We could probably expand with that. Okay. If I could just get myself a little bit of population, which I can't because I'm really low on food right now. 
I could, however, get a power plant now, which is good because, um, yeah. Let's put it. It needs to be somewhere away from population. So I'm thinking right here might be fine. Okay. So that produces some power, which means we're now making power, which is a good change of pace, to be honest. Um, considering we were just leading it before. Alright. This one can expand. Now, they have both high plateaus, which means I don't think they can build anything yet. Or maybe it does. I don't know. The only way I can do it, though, is take it and find out. Yep, I can. So that can now contain a landing pad. Which is good. Oh, which means the actual... Okay, no, no, that's fine. Now, I still know what I'm doing here when it comes to this stuff, but if I say export nitrates and say import that, will that work? Oh. I guess we'll find out. Alright. We do have a landing pad now, which is nice. I don't know what it's for, but at least we don't need to throw anything out, which is good. Alright, we can explore some more, which I think is a good idea. Whether it's here or here, I don't know. Because this is clearly where Pelican's Roost is going to go, first of all, for this aquifer. And down here for the canyon view. So, with that in mind, this way is the best way. Clear this out. Ooh, it's another lava tube. Okay, so these lava tubes really are not uncommon. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. That's just just dandy, actually. I could just build this. But there's no people here, which seems a little bit weird to put that down when there's no people. So. Alright. Ooh. Power generation. Free power generation. Ooh. Eco homes as well. I mean, eco homes decidedly less exciting power generation power generation power generation all right well if that's the case i really do want to expand this right now so all right road paver depot it is let's put right there there we go expand we'll get this aquifer we'll build oh okay we can't build the mine yet but we'll expand out this way and get the canyon view to increase our okay we can't do that either that's okay and we go here. Now this we can also not do. Okay. okay I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here. But that's okay. We've got the territory now. We just need to get some more titanium. Which means... Can we stop exporting titanium? In fact, can we import some more titanium? Like, if I go like that, can I like... No, I need to get rid of this. I want more titanium, damn it. So, uh, give the nitrates. That's fine. And... Uh, I don't care about the food right now. I've got plenty of food. Let's try that. There. All right, cool. Now we can still explore. We've got one more territory here, which may have some titanium. If we're lucky. It did have a small chunk and another lava tube. Very nice. Okay. Cities are a lot more common than I was expecting, to be honest. That's okay. So we still can't actually build the windmills, which is, quite frankly, incredibly depressing. But uh, that's okay. It looks like we did have spend enough of our cards, so we can go on next turn without any problems. Alright, so. Earth suggests we initiate the terraforming process. They provide for CO2 pump to build greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the first step to terraforming Mars. I mean, I agree. Shame it's in a city, but okay. Why would you have negative one support? I guess it's a not in my backyard thing. So, fair enough. Android Hub. Three robots. Okay, cool, cool. Public baths. I mean, less exciting because once again, I mean, then again, five supports is pretty high. I've already got one, don't I? No, I don't. Got a little bio for that. Yeah, let's just get that. It's fine. So you now have a project which will help you terraform the planet, make Mars have of life. The temperature needs to be raised. The oxygen needs to be raised. The oceans need to be raised, and it needs to be an atmosphere. The solar resolution, radiation. Some projects. Um, progress these parameters. Uh, when you raise one of these global parameters, all local climate tones get the parameter increase as well. Okay, that's fine. Alright, well, I can't really do much with it just yet. I'm 
Okay, there's a large heat of nitrites here. If there's another nitrite mine here, I would like to take it. So, build our water mine first of all, because once again, mines are very valuable. Let's do an exploration here, so we can get nitrite mine. Okay, it's got a mine. Ooh, and a large hit of water. That could also be. Okay, that's cool. Now, the further out we go exploration-wise, so, three, three actually running low on supplies in that regard so we actually will get to start using out his other abilities soon anyway that's four that one right there is all the way out there is four okay that one's five let's do this one this gets us a bunch of sport some tritian and a bunch of food fantastic okay another city it's location but this one apparently will um flood eventually okay so less exciting um than the other one Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, we can build some population if we would like. However, hmm. We should. I mean, it's only plus one. That's this population, which doesn't really help us right now. We really need a farm, if anything. Hmm. Oh, we can also see what it actually requires. Okay. All right, that's fine. Hmm. Well, I definitely still rank low on stuff. We still need four for the viewpoint tower, which seems like a good idea. I want to expand to nitrous deposit though. So I guess I don't see any, any problem with building this and it will increase our support and no doubt we'll be getting close to the end of the year or every turn. So yes, let's just put this right here. There we go. So the people are living here and they are happy to be here. Beautiful. Up to 405. Fantastic. In fact, we also build a lab, but unfortunately, there's nothing really here to do lab stuff with. We want the other colony for the lab stuff. And we can't do that straight away because we need more food and we need more water. We are producing water, however, and our food supplies are quite dwindling. But that's that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. When we can build up this, it'll be nice. Um, nice as still. Now, you can also go and claim this mine. Oh, you're unhappy about that. Wait, what? Why is it too far away from the city? Oh, is it just because it's one extra tile away? Because that's pretty tough if that's the case. If that's how far it goes. Yeah, I'm going to assume I can take one. It's probably worth it at the moment so that's fine now thankfully we can produce a lot of power pretty freely so it's okay now at the moment research center nah not needed eco homes i mean realistically probably not needed either between co2 factory but we're, we don't really need it right now so i might get rid of that shortly um all right so we can go here and build this in a... Oh, it's still ages away. We need to explore for more titanium. So, uh, we also don't have that much in the way of power. So, is there even anywhere we can explore? There's this one. And I'll get some more support and apparently some water too. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Nice. All right. Hmm. It's actually kind of interesting how close together the city areas are. But anyway, large hint of water, which could be good. Another water deposit, never bad. Now, it also looks like we can also produce a little bit of food here, which is fantastic. I know it's using up our water, but that's okay. We need a lot of food, so it's fine. So that's, that's there, that's fine. And we're producing two already, which is good news. Alright, I think we're as good as we can be, so let's just, uh... Alright, so it says, Science is making special progress on adapting life to Martian colonies through bioengineering. They have been experimenting with different generic variations now present with the two most... They now present you with the most... Two most promising candidates. Which of these life forms should they create? Should they create a methagonium, which apparently... Reduces minimum requirements by negative one temperature, requ requires at least one land location in climate zone. 
Prestige is 2. Turns is 12. Heat is 1. That's cool. This one produces atmosphere by 2. It requires no temperature. This one can be done in the cold. Bacteria spreader. Bacteria spreader. I actually think this one's probably better. Alright. A hospital. Interesting. Life forms provide a wide body of benefits. You will spread the life forms in climate zones. Each climate zone can have one bacteria, one plant, and one animal. Okay. I don't necessarily want to do that yet. Oh, hello. Temperature zero, which is exactly what we have here, so... That's fair. We can do that one right here if we want to. Alright. We can not really explore right now, so I guess I'm going to have to use energy savings. There we go. Didn't make anyone unhappy, which is the most important thing. And we've got one more turn for another free one, so it's okay. We can only hold eight, so I'm going to throw away the excess CO2. Oh, shoot. I need to throw another one away. Honestly, those public baths aren't going anywhere right now, so I get rid of that. I think that'll be valuable once they start getting extra mines, but... I mean, will it, though? Because this one's got two mines, and that's as many as it's going to get. This one has two mines, and quite now, frankly, it now seems that that's as many that one's going to get as well. So, realistically, as much as I want this exhaust processor, I don't think it's going to be valuable. So, see ya. Alright, so, I know we need water, probably more than anything else, so, thank you. Development Center. You can reach an extra project, have two extra projects in reserve. Well, that's cool, so you can actually increase the number of projects you have. But this one, Robot Ingenu Ingenuity Center. Robots provide an extra expansion point. Oh, I like that one. It only requires 13 science, too. That is interesting. At least once per city. Okay, so for example, this one has robots, right? Yeah, it does. Which means, if we, say, put down this robot ingenuity center, we now get two extra things we can expand to. Which, I'm still not entirely sure if it's worth it, but we might as well get this other one here. So we've got another blank uh, place to go to. And you know what? This meteorite. I see no reason... Not to go here and grab some of this titanium. It says the location will come empty. This one says one past her turn. Oh, that's a hard choice. Okay, for now I'm just going to keep it, but like, that's still fine. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good. I can build my nitrate deposit, or I can build my viewpoint tower. I think, as usual, mine helps all things. I also would like to expand to over explore over here. Very good. Has another large aquifer. Ooh, this one's even bigger. Okay. I think I've got to build this one next. Oh, then again, it requires... I mean, its comfort's actually pretty good. So it will actually produce four support just by existing. So it's really not a bad place, even if it does require a lot of rocks to remove right now. However, if, get, if I get this guy's um, friend, it might actually work. So... Okay, that's fine. We can probably... Give this to. That's okay. Okay. Alright. So, we've got this for our titanium in a few turns' time if we ever get that far. But for now. Let's see, here might be the best bet, I reckon, because it will give us another deposit. Yep. Ooh, a gigantic titanium deposit. Now, that just makes getting this place a whole lot more important. So, as soon as we get 30 food, this place is ours. Because we need to expand to here, and we need to expand to here. I Ideally, I, I, I really like getting the two extra. In fact, looks like we can now increase that by two, and put this one to giving us even more titanium, which might help. So, there we go. Alright. 
gas factory. Once again, not bad, but not really useful. Another greenhouse farm, though. I could see having that. Honestly, we're producing a lot of stuff at the moment, so... Ooh, I can build my lovely windmills. That'll produce our power a little bit, which is very valuable. In fact, it's probably so valuable I need to use it right now, so... Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just focus on that, I think. Now, this provides fire support per turn and adjacent additional support. My support is fine at the moment. Once again, I could build it up a little more. If I put it here, for example. Now, see, ideally I'd want a path that goes that way. Because um, then I could link it both up there. But that's okay. I could build the build it, though. But I need the water. I need the water. I need the water. It's good for farming. It's also good for pretty much everything else. So, let's just save that for now. We need to, we need to tear off again a new section, Okay. Um, built in a city, only built once. Okay, support for every building boosted costs water. Okay, enables the use of water from brine service um, sources. Previously considered unsafe. Well, that's good. And we also got a composting facility, which increases nitrates in the city, um, but does require three. Oh, for, uh, sorry, never mind. Produces three nitrates for every three population in the city. Okay, that makes more sense. Now, I could build some more robots, but if I can't expand, what's the point? So, hmm, I'll take this for now. Alright, so, we got plenty of stuff going on at the moment, which is fine. We can build our viewpoint tower, and next turn, we should be able to build our food thing. So, for now, I'm going to just not explore and keep doing energy savings. Might as well take advantage of this person while I've still got them. You can only hold a whole number of projects at one time. So you want to use one. It's really... There's no point in that. Because I can't produce the stuff here. I don't want to use it the water. The boris I want to keep. I want to, I want to keep that. Um, hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Hmm, hmm. I wonder if this is an empty spot because that would help if I want to build the um, bacteria spreader here, which I probably should have built there, but I guess I can probably move it anyway up here. In fact, that might actually be a better place for it. So let's just move it there right now. And it's kind of a waste, but that's okay. Then we can build this here when we've got the science for it, which we won't for a very long time. So I'm sorry, Barves. I can't justify you at the moment. There's, there's nothing I can do with you. All right, this year marks the beginning of a new new turn. Okay. All right, he's retiring already. We've got Marion Fade. Oh, she looks. She seems nice. Growing up, Marion was surrounded by stories from all sides. While she enjoyed Grandpa Tarek's war stories and listened to it intently to her father's recitations of the Holy Quran, her favorites were tales of Arabian Nights. Her mother read to her before bed. The stories of brass automatons and the strange machines kindled her imagination and ignited her passion for robotics. Her innovative designs earned her a reputation as the Red Planet's leading roboticist, but her colleagues are somewhat bemused by her eccentricity. Hey, that eccentricity is a good thing well, my, in my books. Still enamored with the ancient proto-sci-fi of her youth, her robot designs feature elaborate arboresque decorations and humanoid or, or animal forms. So, prospecting tour, explore a location, and correct plus one resources for every hint. That's nice. So she's got an improved type of colonizer. And oh my god, look at that robot. Oh. Innovate. Meh. Four science is okay. A drone hub for free. It only provides one robot, so quite frankly, not a big deal. It does, however, produce one power for every four power. Not producing four power, so. Alright, expert in global warming. Oh god, this, this is not a good choice. Just, okay. Henry's industrial empire has often been criticized for complying with, with not complying with global emissions guidelines. He enjoys popularity among the population in North America, whereas steel mills and coal power plants create jobs for millions of working class families. But the rest of the world frowns at his disregard for the environment. To improve his image, he offered to support the Martian terraforming process by filtering out the, the excess CO2 produced by his factories and shipping them to Mars, where the increased global warming is a boon rather than a curse. Here, his dirty approach to industry are actually welcomed. In fact, that's a good idea. 
if that's his idea of trying to reduce the um, his climate impact. But is he actually going to come and live here too? Because if so, wow. He also has prospecting tool. Very nice. Import CEO from Earth. Three plus atmosphere. Three plus heat. Five plus support. Holy shit. Interesting. Mind venting. Immediately produces 5 heat and 5 atmosphere for the cost of 25 support. And mining costs 25 less resources. Oh, as much as I don't like this guy on Earth, on Mars, he seems like a bloody dream. Yes. Okay. Constructs, um, connects adjacent cities to space. Okay. Plus 1 comfort of living. Adjacent mines provide an extra trade route for their export. Yeah, okay. That's okay. A gas factory, once again. Okay. I think at this point. I'll grab that, but there's no guarantee I'm going to build it. Because at the moment, I want to build up this. I can found this city now. Oh, I need to explore. One more territory. So, I'll explore this. Get the 21 support and four. Ooh, sandstone. What do they do? Guided tours. Oh, nice. Five support per turn. That's, that's pretty good, actually. All right, so we found this city. Which is lovely. It's in a... Hmm. I might call this the Owlsborough. Like burrowing house. Yes. There we go. Headquarters can just go up. Hmm. Just go up here. And then I'm going to have to clear those two. Because I want to put the science down straight away. Because once again, we need science. So there we go. Produces the science. We also want to produce some population. Which we can't do yet. So, robot? Maybe. There's nothing else really to do here just now. So we might have to wait a little bit longer before hit using it. Let's also keep exploring. Because why not? Way support. Very nice. Symbolic feet look landmark. And has flat plains. Another place for a city. So I've got to say, less exciting of a city. Like, A, it's going to eventually, apparently, be covered in water. And so is this place. So I'm going to have to make sure I build a dike here eventually. But for now, I really want to get that massive titanium field going on. So, yes, that sounds like a fantastic idea. All right. Is there anything to build currently? No. I mean, yes, actually, I could build the... If I build this, then I could build this, and I get more power as well. So... It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be adjacent. No. It does not need to be adjacent. So, I can build this here. I hope that I can get another food-producing thing here. And then I can build the waste incinerator here, which produces one additional power is good okay and i don't need to throw anything away this turn beautiful all right so a cultured meat lab produces support and food only requires a little bit of nitrates and some science that uh, sounds pretty great this one okay one power plus additional power if it's on a place that's a high location however it does cost 12 nitrates and 12 um silicates I think this one's probably better, but the, uh, like, better for me. But the other one's pretty damn nice, let's be honest. Alright. Honestly, I kind of just want to use his ability to try and get a little bit more heat. And the extra support would be nice. Although, if I use mine venting, I get even more heat. But not much more. And considering this one gives gives support. Hmm. I think at this point, I'm gaining a lot of resources. I need to keep saving some. So let's import some CEO2. Okay. We've imported some CEO2. Atmosphere is a little bit better. Temperature's getting better. Fantastic. Well, that's good. And still can't do anything else, so. Rising expectations. Alright, we're currently quite pissed in that regards. They're going negative two now, so that's not great. But that's fine. Import tritium from mercury. Naturally occurring tritium is so rare, even producing it far from far from mercury, it's a popular profitable venture venture. Apparently this is a something else. This is a space project. Produces nine power. I mean I kinda gotta say yes to that, right? Like even if I don't know what it is, like oh Oh, it just, just sits there, huh? 
guys click it and oh then assign stuff i can't because i can't afford it maybe or maybe it happens over a period of time oh i wonder do i have to aha uh -huh. i see i have to export the power and the thing to this okay so let's get another export of food sorry import of food and an export or not no i need the other way max to export to reach they have only got one okay, let's do that and then oh okay that counts as export gotcha because it's going to there okay that makes sense all right well that's that's fine then so i'm just literally going to do that to get tritium question is does it happen only when I give nine? Because that's a pretty shitty rate, if so. But I guess we'll find out. Okay. Okay. Resource-wise, I think probably getting a robot hub here would not be something to scoff at too heavily. Especially since it's going to be a few more turns before we can get anything else there. So if I put robots here, that'll give me two robots, which will allow me to expand up here and get the titanium which is very important and to get the tritium which we've already established is quite important okay very nice now once again there's nothing else we really do at the moment so i'm just going to import more co2 which will of course increase our support which is nice and there we go all right we've got another thing here silicates lab I think that once we do it, it'll just be a constant stream. I think that's how it has to work, right? So this one is a planetary engineering lab. For 15 silicates, we can get two science per turn, which doesn't seem that bad, but at the same token, I know where a few extra science spots are, so we probably don't need that. Oxygen factory. Now that one looks very important. It provides atmosphere and oxygen. It can be built in a thing and only requires water. Research center, meh. I think a university is where it's at, really. So, that's okay. We can't really do much currently, though. So, hmm. I think the best bet is probably going to be expanding here for future. I know it will cost us some stuff. But if we can do this, that will be pretty great. So, yes. That's fine. I know, I know it's not the most, it's not the preference here. But it should still work, I think. Okay can't build anything else at the moment because everything's too expensive but it won't be shortly we just need to keep exploring so for now import more co2 fantastic all right so we got a combined living center must be built in the city uh, provides housing for both population and robots okay increase the maximum number slightly okay I mean, it seems okay, but, like, why is it better than what we already have? Aha! That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for a soil factory. That is also fairly good. But, no. Soil factory can build right away, because I can go here. Now, this place has already been set up for this. So, I can literally throw this right here, and look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is my food-producing capital. Which will also become my power supporting ca building capital, which is nice. Well, not straight away, but still. So, that is seven food now, total. So, we got two from this one, three from this one. So, that's five just here alone. That is beautiful. Phenomenal. All right. There we go. Canyon view. You know, this makes me hope there's a city point right here. Because if that worked... All right, it's fine. All right, keep, um, do I want to explore? I got the power for it. No, I don't have the power for it. So keep importing CO2. It's fine. We really need to deal with our uh, situation here. So we're, we're, we are we are starting to um, reduce support, which is a bit of a pain. I'm guessing it'll just be a slow burn. All right, so Calico Sugar again, which does um, negative two temperature and produces oxygen and produces um, atmosphere. Whereas this one, is a tundra forest. Four plus support if the climate zone has a city. Kind of want it just for new building, but no. Let's get this again. 
that's fine. Okay, we got a luxury workshop. Yeah, it's useful, but not for silicates. I don't have that many silicates. I think another robot hob wouldn't be anything to scoff at. Or just a second laboratory, because if we do want to expand somewhere, like if I built this one, for example, that's got two anomalies right there. If I built this one, okay, it's just a mine, but still. Um, This one? No, nothing there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I want to explore that. Can I explore? It says it will do it based on the hints that are given. So, if there's more hints, then they'll get more stuff. But, hmm. That's got three hints up there. But it's also three cost. And it's also pretty far away. So, I want this one. I know it's not as efficient, but let's see. Okay, it's got a crater there. Which is kind of crappy. Yeah, cool. Although, it does have another location for a mine. And quite frankly, this might be a better position for this city than this one. And again, this one also contains a nitrates deposit. So, once again, you're trying to make up, you're trying to weigh up the positives here. Hum, 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 hum. I think for now we're okay. For now we're okay, we just need to find more research. So, that's fine. Alright, we've got another one in Import Oceans from Includians. Okay, plumes of water. Only cost 8 trinium, but do we want to use up all our trinium for that? Probably not. Homesteads. Now that one's interesting. Provides support and one housing. Just comfortable, nice little places. Research center, no. Let's go for that one, but we won't do it yet, obviously, because we still need to build our trinity mine. We still need to build a couple of mines. I want to build this one first because more that oh, that's obvious, right? It's, it's, it's got to be that one. More tri more titanium means more mines, means more structures, means more everything. So yes. All right, let's explore over here. Some science and some food. Fantastic. Another rocky plains. Okay. I kind of do feel like this place here is kind of like something I should just expand out to, even if it does cost me a little bit of um, stuff, because... Yeah, there's quite nice that's Canyon View. I know, maybe there's a way to expand it. Maybe if we go out here, maybe if we go up to the maximum here, that'll increase the size. Ah, so the building number can increase over time too. Okay, that makes more sense then. That's fine. So, speaking about this, we got food here. We can make more food if we want to, or we can make a hospital. Hmm. More food would be nice, because if I made the cultured meat lab, that would produce plus one food, so it would become plus two food. I mean, this whole city is all about the food, right? But do I need more food? Not necessarily. Not right now, anyway. Although, I could build another population center here. Mm, I probably won't build up here more, so let's go here and build it here instead. So, five titanium is a bit of a pain, but... Honestly, for the three extra support, it's probably still worth it. So, let's build that right there. And then expand out to sandstones, where we can eventually build guided tours for additional support. And, of course, we have finally covered our last... Um, deficit in expectations, which is positive. I also noticed that because we've been forced to do this over and over again, we are definitely getting closer on the atmosphere and the temperature side, so I may not like the guy at home, but here, he's he's really being nice, so that's good. Oh, hello. Aw, didn't even notice the first little co the colony was setting up. That's nice. Alright, let's go. Alright, the Delani Group is one of the biggest players in the food industry and offers to set up a high-tech food lab. We'd rather not get involved with them, we'll get us 50 support, or... Ooh. That also produces science. And produces that. We're attempting to copyright the DNA sequences of common plants and animals. Their generosity could be an attempt to generate buzz to cover some claims. I don't need to support that much. The Delani lab will be very good for my 
food produ production facility, so yeah, sorry. All right, electron beam printer. Mines that produce produce one more titanium, so I can just make the titanium better. But it's already a gigantic mine, so it's probably not too much work there. The hydroponic farm, though, two plus food per turn. Why not? Just keep on, keep on keeping up the food in this city. If that's the case, and realistically. Shame it's adjacent. Realistically, I probably want to build it here or here. So for now, I'm going to build this farm here because I know I don't really need it, but hey. And then I'll build the Delani facility right here when I've got the ability to. And that should help. I do admit I wish there was some more, like, inner blocks, but there's not really much space, is there? That's okay. We're producing lots of food. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's produce some oxygen lab here, which would start producing oxygen in atmosphere. Question is, where would I build it? I feel like I will eventually want some cities to have basically nothing of interest. So for now, I'll just put this right here. There we go. We're now producing passively one oxygen and one atmosphere, which is good news. Very good news. All right, so we can do another free scan. Which we might as well do really far down, far away from us. So, I mean, this is not really far, but it'll do. Ooh, power. Power and a silica deposit. Very nice. All right. So, I could import, or I could do a prospecting tour. I think at the moment, I have plenty of power, and my pass. This is now passively going up. It would be nice to get my temperature up a little bit more, but no. I think it's it's probably fine to explore a little bit more. Oh god, I gotta spend that titanium, don't I? Beautiful, some guided tours. That will help. I think over here would be a good way to explore. So let's go out here. Or here. It's cheaper and it's got the sun. Oh, no. Yeah, it's got more stuff. Alright, so. Alright, we've got some rich soil here, which is nice. We can make a nitrates farm or an agricultural crop prospect complex and that produces three food per turn full stop not bad not bad okay not bad at all really all right let's go end turn all right storm and wet colony crater whip the sands around damage the structural integrity of the greenhouse farm that's not good can we repair it takes five water great or repairs one resource per turn. <clears throat> and again, this also produces, reduces my support by 10 per turn. Hmm. We can't afford it straight up the bat, so might as well. It will make people feel better if they know we can actually support them, so. Yes. Alright, we've got a telescope on Phobos. We do not produce silicas though, so that's not very useful. A landing pad is weaker and crappy than what we've currently got, and the Android hub is better but very expensive. So I think at the moment let's just go science. That's fine. Alright. This is okay. This is okay, I think. So I should just get the Trinium mine. I feel like I'm gonna consistently not save up the the four required. No. We won't. We can explore somewhere with titanium. It's got to be something. Like right there. Right there. Let's just uh, send this research thing here. There we go. We've got four titanium. And then, can we afford this yet? No. No, we cannot. One more turn. One more turn. We'll be able to do it. So that's, that's okay. We also need to find another canyon view, which is nice. Okay. So we wait one more turn, and then we'll be able to build it. So. All right. Ooh, what is this? A think tank condominium. So it produces... 
science and population. Well, I say, smartest minds on Mars. Honestly, that seems like a no-brainer. But um, Tish, yeah, it just seems like the opposite. Seems like a lot of brainer. It just, just seems a good idea. All right, that's fine. It's fine. So we still got no titanium because we're exporting it to Mercury. Of course we are. All right, let's do another science trip then. Really? Wait, what? Why? Why are people unhappy? Oh, is it because of the sandstorm? Ah, I see. I see. No, let's not do the sandstorm area then. This one's a lot more expensive, but that's okay. Titanium. Gathered. Beautiful. So now we can build this, right? No, we now need power. God damn it. <sighs> Life is pain. Fantastic. All right. Well, at least we found another large titanium deposit, so we're getting places. That's fine. Election year? Okay. Honestly, Henry, you did a good job. Surprisingly good. So, good job. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. That means that mine's going to be even more expensive. No. All right. Hi. Expertise for cycling. Alicia was born into a wealthy Indian family, and while she spent most of her life in lavish manners and well-maintained gardens, the pollution plaguing her, her country did not evade her notice. Using her fa family's ample funds, she developed a new method for waste disposal and recycling. Her first recycling plant was a success. The raw materials extracted from the garbage heaps came into high demand in the market as they were cheaper to produce than those hidden deep within the Earth's crust. She fully embraced the title of Trash Princess, adorning her entire body with jewelry made from recycled gold. Fair enough. Her advanced recycling procedures would be great help of making the Martian industry more more still sufficient so she got prospect tour once again she's got a sewage treatment plant which apparently okay plus one water if there's enough population i have not been putting very much stuff in there but okay so i probably won't use that i also can't use that nah that's not good for me hello nalia bottlebeck you look stunning my dear all right, so Nalia was born in Kazakhstan, moved to Mars with her family at an early age. She spent most of her youth between two worlds in spaceships traveling between the red and the blue planet and back again. Her parents work for NGOs that encourage close-ups of Earth-Mars relationships and she followed in their footsteps. She's intimately familiar with the cultures of both planets. She grew up on the road and met people from all over the solar system, making her the perfect diplomat. Under her legal leadership, Earth and Mars are bound to come closer together and form friendly deals. So, it says he increases your trade route capacity by one for every three trade routes you set up. Mm, not useful. Embassy for three, for free. Support per trade route provided by the city. That could be useful. Um, select the city. It produces its support again. Each city can be selected once per leader. Oh, okay. And exploration, which gives support. Oh, okay, let's do that. Let's do her then. Because no doubt it's going to get harder soon. So yes. Exploration satellites gives an exploration action. The time is fixed at 3. Oh, so I need to build another satellite. Cool. I mean, kind of useless. I'm not useless, but I'm going around the city pretty quickly. I feel like that would be more useful later. Um, space hotels. 5 food, 10 titanium. Not bad. Actually got a lot of food, so that might be a good idea. All right, that's okay, because next turn I can hopefully build up, or the turn after I can build this gigantic mine, which, which honestly, how much has the price gone up? It hasn't gone up at all, actually, interesting enough. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you get, like, maybe you got money back from building the mines with, her, with him. Who knows? Who knows? So, City of the Year. Hmm. Well, if I use, say, City of the Year on this one, what happens? Okay, four plus support. Well, that helps, I suppose. Don't know how long it lasts for, but that's okay. We can also do an exploration somewhere nice and far off would be good. Let's see, over here, for example. Yep, silicates. Okay, I feel like getting anything in the water territory is probably not that useful. No. So, okay. All good. Let's end the turn. Beautiful. So we have a quantum data center, which produces two science per turn. That is very good. However... There is no however. I can't afford that with silicates. Okay. Or this one. 
delivery drones. Adjacent population provides 2 plus support per turn and increases robots population. That is surprisingly powerful, really. I kind of want the quantum data center, but at the same time, those delivery drones seem really useful. Let's go for delivery drones just because if we can find a place with uh, people, such as here, which does have some people in it, um, they're here though. Well, one lot of people there. Okay, what about this city? It probably work well in this city because I've actually built, yeah, there's people here. And there's a few extra spots here, though if I put it there, then we'll have science. This one, okay. I think the best bet would, that also produces population. I think the best place for it is probably gonna be right here, but once again, I should wait so I can build the other thing. So let's use it over here on Owl's Burrow. Went to eight plus support, very nice. All right, cool. Uh-oh. Ugh. Makes me want to use it, but I don't know where and what. I could put... Hmm. Jason population provides one plus support per turn. And it's really expensive. And provides seven by default. This one produces robots. God damn. I mean, we're already producing some CO2, right? Atmosphere and heat, though. We don't have any other way of producing heat at the moment, so no. God damn, this is. I'm gonna get rid of the hospital for now. Hopefully, we won't. I won't regret that. Ooh, enable. Oh shoot. All right, so miners' cottage, played once per city. Played. It's a project. Project can only be placed one per city. So it's not a building thing. One plus support for every mine owned by the city. Both population and robots increase the maximum building for my case. It produces one housing block. That sounds pretty powerful, yeah. And I do have a lot of food, so yeah, let's grab that. And this is projects. Can I just like place it? Like if I put this down, what happens? Just okay, no, it is a building. It's a cup of living. Support for every mine owned by this city. I, only, I own two mines in this city. Don't I? Oh no, none. In this this is the one I was building. Okay. Hmm. I think for now, let's just go over here and say this one's the city of the year. Okay, it doesn't really work when every single person is hating on me right now, but that's that's okay. It's okay. We need another city then, clearly, but um, we can't do it yet. This one be great for that later. This one has two mines. This one has two mines. Okay, let's enable this. There we go. You're doing well. You seem to net do that. Support. Yep, cool. All right, so that just did it. it. Just built it, which is nice. Which means if we go into the training thing, we can now say we want to put five food on this and a few of our titanium. So I don't really want to put the titanium on now. So let's just put the two. Um, food directly into the space hotels at the moment. Titanium can come after we've uh, finally built this gigantic titanium mine, which we've been trying to build for forever and a bloody day. Damn it. This one currently will get two. Will it get any more than two? No. In fact, they're all, not, they're all about the same place. So, realistically, it doesn't matter where we build this as long as we build it and don't spend anything special on it. So. This one does do adjacent population. No, I need to save that one for later. This one, however. Two plus support per turn, one plus population. Honestly, it just sounds valuable, so. Let's build down here for now. Nothing special. Cool. We expand like further out. Uh-huh. Ah, I see. I see. So that's how that works. So if I built another city, I could move it over, but no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. For now, can we build this yet? Are we still we're still missing. Oh god, because I just spent all the bloody 
power again. Oh, bloody hell. I'm never going to get that bloody mine done, am I? However, this one I can. So, first of all, can we select the uh, the thing we want? Because I wanted the one which was that, yes. So, let's go place this right here. There we go. And that will start spreading life. Which seems a little bit impractical here, but uh, sure. Let's just say this one. Two plus atmosphere per turn. And I'm going to spread it right here. Okay. Whoa. That happened a lot faster than I was expecting. Okay. Fair enough. That is indeed bacterial life that is apparently living everywhere in this area. Fair enough. And I can use it again nine turns. So it takes a while. That's okay. Okay. Oh, wait, nope. That's just permanent now. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. End turn. All right, we've got an entertainment center. Still not a bad idea. Another bacteria spreader. We don't really need that yet. I could build another power plant, though, which would be nice. Because that's fairly cheap to build, and it's not like we have any real problems with that. So we can, we can build it up here because there's no... Yeah, we can build it over here. Let's just shove it straight down here get a little bit more power production. Hey, if we can't get... If we can't save the power, we can just, like, brute force the power. It's fine, right? We will get our titanium mine one way or another. All right. So. Embassy. Two plus support per trade route. We don't really have anywhere with lots of trade routes, though. We could, though, if I built this. The question is, where am I going to build this? The answer is, I don't know. So, for now, no, it's fine. We should explore, then, for now. So, let's see. This uses a power. God damn it. Okay. City of the Year. There are no cities which want to be City of the Year. Okay. We have no real solutions here. Hmm. How about this one here? I want another city in preference. Over somewhere over here. So I would very much like to explore these areas. So, um, yeah. You know, we do have... Uh, if I built this embassy over here... It would do something, right? Because it does produce two per city and per trade route. So we do actually have a trade route here. So if I put this like right here, yes, it does produce support. And later I could probably build another one. Because why not? In fact, when I activate this volcano, I'm thinking it becomes a fairly crappy location, I assume. So that'll be fine. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. Get an artificial bacteria. Which does, I mean, that seems pretty fair. Oxygen requirement, um, prestige location. Or do we want to get an animal spreader? Animal spreader, ooh, Arctic hares. Zero temperature, one oxygen. Wow, that's really easy. I love it. Let's get hares. All right. Um, adjacent population provides two bus support. Okay, that's cool. School. Well, might as well, yeah. So this has been my research... No, this is my, this is my farming cult research. Where's my research? This is my research colony currently. Now, this one produces food uh, food array. So this one produces... Okay, let's just put... Hmm. Let's put it there, because that will produce a little bit more support. And we'll get some more science. And if we find a nice science boosting building, we can put it right there in the middle. So that's fine. Got some science, which is good. And next turn, we should finally be able to bloody well build. Should... Damn it, we still need to use a skill. No, we don't need to use a skill. Alright, Sandstorm. Got a second one? God. Okay, 15 food, that's fine. We have plenty of food. Oh, wait, there was still something else that exploded there. Food factory. But they don't like it, and it really doesn't seem that good, so why would I go for that? Let's go for another one of these. Apparently something else is broken in Red Crater. That's fine, more food. And because of that, I still can't build my mine. Life is pain and sadness. Can't even build that yet. So in fact, there's nothing I can do at the moment. Oh god. This is... Oh, when I had to sell a project, too. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse. I still want the hydroponic farm. I still want delivery bones. Although, Jason's population provides two 
It's okay. I was going to build another thing here, right? Build it here. I still think that would be a nice spot. Hmm. Let's just build it here. For now. I know it's not perfect, but it allows us to end the turn. Alright. Alright. A billionaire's idea. Tech Moogle has provided us with a blueprint for an innovative nuclear-powered oxygen factory. It's incredibly um, effective in producing oxygen, but the design flaw in the reactor causes a radiation leak. Well, no. That seems incredibly impractical, so no thank you. Exploration satellites, we don't really need that right now. That's okay. The public baths again. Also, not something we really need. Resonance station. That... Sounds useful if we just had the silicates for it. So honestly, none of that seems valuable for us right now, so I'm going to throw it away. And we still can't afford the goddamn... Okay. That's fine. In fact, we're actually reaching a point where I can start giving away the silicate because we're almost up to 19. Uh, nine, yeah, we're up to 19. We can actually start doing that. So, hmm. This is food and water. We can do this. We can actually build this. So it says, okay, produces science, produces population. So... This is actually probably a perfect thing to have in this city because it produces both population and science. Jeez, I'm going to have to put it there, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Right in there. Fantastic. A little bit more love. A little bit more science. Comfortable living. Yeah, that's fair. It's a pretty shitty place. But the Owl's Borough is actually becoming quite a nice little place. It's got a lot of population here. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. I still won't be able to build the thing next turn. <sighs> that one, however, I could do right now. The research station would probably be the best bet there. So let's expand this out. I realize it will cost me some love, but the research station, and that will help as well. That's fine. Five research per turn. That's pretty effective. So good. We can also explore a little bit more. I think I'm going to explore this territory, even though. No, I'll have to go further out, won't I? Well, let's keep going down here then. I still think this will be a nice place to expand to. It's not really great, but you know, it's interesting. Okay, another large aquifer. Not surprising. Here would be an interesting place for a city. That's okay. Alright, there's literally nothing else we can do right now. We're still kind of low on everything, so... Alright, another spaceport. Nothing to scoff about, but honestly, everything else there seems pretty eh. And I don't really need to have another spaceport on me, so... For now, just give me science. Okay, we've now got over 19, which means, yes, let's just go all out on building this luxury habitat. Why not? Um, next turn. That's it. I don't care. Nothing's going to stop me from bloody building this bloody piece of... Okay. A GMO lab. Adjacent food produces food. He's needs science, which is not bad. I think at the moment, though, importing oceans might work better. Because I'll get 50 ocean because of the next stage straight away. Just a little bit of tritium. I can do that. So, yes. Let's build this deep core mine. And can we also build a dike? already yes we can so the dike will protect it for a bit in fact i think the dike will protect it full stop there because i think we only need the one and then we can actually afford the second mine straight away because that's how expensive oh wait how much power did we get last turn okay that's fine all right this is this is good this is good this is good this is good so honestly this is fine One more town, one more size than that apparently grows, but I don't know how, because it doesn't really have any population in it, does it? Okay. That's fine. For now, there's literally nothing else we can do, I don't think. Let's save that for another city. For now. But, um, yeah, still can't do that. One more turn for that. Three more turns on that. Okay. Alright, cool. We don't need another bacteria spreader. 
Wouldn't mind another giving that hospital back. We don't have any silicates, so possible it is. Alright. Hmm. What do I actually want to do here? What do I actually want to do? I wouldn't mind some more exploration, so let's just see if this is a mine, a place we can build at. It is. Fantastic. Is it a good place? Yes. Holy shit, yes. Holy shit, yes. It's got two natural rocks. It's got science. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, not perfect perfect, but... Alright, I'm gonna call this... It's a really flat place with lots of express sites. I'm gonna call this... Emu Flats. This is what it's called, Emu Flats. Perfect. I've now founded Emu Flats, and I shall put it right about... Ooh, hello. Oh, so this actually counts, because it does produce population. So yeah, I can just put it right there and gain a little bit of population, straight off the bat. So fantastic. Or a little bit of happiness for my population, which was, will bring out this thing. I also build a laboratory here, which is nice. Fantastic. And that's about all I can do right now on Emu Flats, but that's okay. As we can expand up here and build a building, we can expand down here and get a couple of mines. And they're good mines too. Which is fantastic news. Alright, and then we can say Emu Flats, City of the Goddamn Year. Okay. Mm -mm. Owlsboro, you have a lot of population, but not really in places I can use it. Could build it there, and then get that there, and that there, then science there. Hmm, if I build, remove this and build the hospital there. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, good. Finally actually built a hospital, so if something goes wrong, we can got it. Election year. Thank you, Nalia. You did um, your best. A little bit annoying when we ran out. Hey, Arthur. You look... You're not the same person. You look like the same person, but you're not. Like his pioneering ancestors, Thomas Foster, Arthur was always down for, for adventure. Unlike Thomas, he had no pristine, unexplored Mars to discover, as the previous generations of Martians already mapped out the Red Planet's surface. Um, Arthur decided to uncover its underworld. Martian Mining Corporation showed great interest in his discoveries. As the plant's subterranean caves hide many valuable resources. Oh, so this is the first time we've actually had a Martian who can be a leader. That's cool. Arv used homemade explosives, experimenting with different charges. He soon became an expert in controlled demolition. But he had... Okay, this is good because it probably means I can actually... Yeah, let's see. Mine a resource. Mine 10 of that resource with a bonus for 1 plus for large deposits, 2 plus for gigantic. That's fantastic. Destroy 5 rocks for free. Yes, I've got plenty of seeds need rocks destruction. Tritium for every tritium production. Yes. So clean up, Sora. Wow, okay. That person looks amazing. I don't see how this person could beat it at all. Isabella Torres. Isabella was also born on Mars, grew up constantly changing landscape, shaped by continuous terraforming efforts. I mean, we haven't done that well, but okay. Like many children, we see fascinated by prehistoric megafauna and dinosaurs and ah, mammoths. She couldn't help but wonder whether such majestic creatures could be made to appear on the red planet. When the ambitious terraformer moved to Mars. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Wait, our territory. That's my creed song. The two mem women met in a small cafe. Previously, we developed a relationship and friendship around their shared interests. Inspired by Ikani's bold project, she performed her own research in terraforming, but of a different goal increasing the client's oxygen level to allow for evolution of megafauna. So, oxygen, genetic modification, lower lane rain requirements, import life forms, and yeah, no, let's go for him. He's got to be the one. This guy, it's he's the way. Okay, university would be very useful for my other city. It's my, I know I can't afford it yet, but if I explore a little bit more, maybe I will. Okay, this is fine. First of all, it said we can destroy free rocks. So let's do the free rocks thing. There's five rocks there, so. Let's see, so it's five free rocks. So I'm gonna remove this rock, remove this rock, remove this rock. Fantastic. Remove this rock, remove this rock. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. That is so great. That is so great. Oh, I can get all my rocks clear of two steps. This is beautiful, okay. One more turn until I can do another bacteria spread. That's fine. 
All right, Emu Flats, is there anything to do here? Actually, there's really nothing to do anything so my food goes back up. That's okay, Titanium's still going and this will be your other build next turn. So it's okay. All right, so penguins. I love penguins, but we don't have enough oxygen. So I do like birds. Temperature one, can't really do that either. Titanium per turn if the climate zone has a city. Okay, that's cool. I think we're gonna get penguins though, because birds. <laughs> I realize it's like birds, but still. Okay, I would love to do that, but there's no slots available. So for now, no. Tuba farm, no. Eco homes though, that's actually starting to look a lot more pressing. Though it's only one population, it feels like it's so much better. Hmm. I think, yeah, let's not research anything this turn, it's fine. Alright, so. It's not really much we can really do at this point. Alright. We could mine a location for 10 of the resource. So is it, is, okay, we can actually mine our titanium field if we want to. Interesting. 9 power for 9 titanium. Ability, 3 plus titanium per turn. Oh, it's cost 9. Mines three plus root. Okay, so does it just expand the size of the mine? Ooh, I like that actually. Can I do it on ones I haven't got yet? I can. Let's just have a look at. It. Oh no, I didn't actually mean to. Okay, we got the water. I guess that wasn't what my plan was, but pit mine now it still produces two, so it doesn't really. Okay. You know what? I I didn't mean to do that, but okay. That's fine. That's fine. We got. The ability to do one bit of bacteria down so we can do either cyanophanidate which apparently will go anywhere it's all green everywhere so does that mean it's okay oh that one's not green okay well let's do okay what's the difference between these two first of all so we've got one which hmm, produces oxygen through photosynthesis we don't have very much oxygen. Well, you do have oxygen. We also have... Yeah. Two atmosphere. We've already got plenty of atmosphere coming in, so the extra oxygen wouldn't hurt anyone, I don't think. So, yes, let's do that and throw it over here. All right. 20 plus support. And we've now got bacteria there as well, which is fantastic. Okay. Not too bad. Still no real supplies at the moment, so there's nothing really we can do. Can't really explore for another turn. And we've already used the skill, so that's okay. Alright, cool. Ooh, a domed park. It must be built in a city. Provides... Oh, wow. The JS population provides four more support. And it's got that. That's really good, but also expensive. And that's where we've already got... Honestly, I kind of want to get another photo a photovolcanic field, even if I can't use it yet. I really need to find a silicate deposit that I can actually get to. Which means something around here would be nice. There's silicate all over this place. Let's do a scan right here. Ooh, hello, a lava tube. That can be used as a city. Okay, it's pretty shitty. However, it is far away enough. This one? Also shitty. Um, shitty cities. Disappointing. Oh, we can build the um, Delante Lab Pelican's Roost. Do we really want to? I mean, yes. It produces science and produces additional um, stuff here. So... I'll put it, hmm, put it here. I'm going to put it here, even though I can't use it yet. No, I won't. Oh, choices. Love to put it there. It's already producing it, though. That's the problem. Like, that produces one food per turn. This one produces one per food to a turn and produces one science. If I put it down, then I can build it. Oh, also, a spaceport. I'm going to build my spaceport instead. Well, I can't really, because I don't have any way to put it, but. Hmm. CO2 factory wouldn't be too bad since it produces heat as well. I think I'm going to put this down. I want to put it down here. Or here. Actually, this might work even better. No, it won't. Until I can move this. I could move that, though. 
Okay, so if I move this though, like if I move this say over here, I can get instant access to the support, which I should have done in the first place, didn't realize that would count. And that way I've got the food there and I can put another food position here. And this can also be moved somewhere else. So I can move this over here, for example. There we go. Fantastic. All right, now I could do five more rocks. Do I have five rocks to destroy? I think I only have a couple at the moment. So there's one there, two there. So that's three total. So we probably don't need that. We could, however, expand over here, uh, explore over here. Now, Emu Plains is one I want to explore. So if I go down here, there's a chance I can get. Okay, there's a chance I get a silicate deposit. Oh, terraforming efforts are playing off. The latest scientific analysis shows the atmosphere has reached a new stage. All right, one more defense in every city. Fantastic. So we've reached stage one of atmosphere, which is good. Seems unrelated to what I just did, but I'll take it. Emu Flats, you need to get expanded pretty quickly. All right, that's that. We're getting plenty of resources, we good. Oh, shoot. Okay, that wasn't lasting long. Android hub, not bad. Landing pad, eh. There's three. But uh, I'll get it for now and then decide what I want to do. Expand that. There we go. That covers my problem. Now we can go and do some more. We've got import ice again. So let's do that again. We're going to get more ice from the other place soon. So that's fine. So we're getting that there. Okay. Very nice. Emu flats. You have so much chan chances of having people in you. I don't really want to give you that, so I don't want to give you that. Mine resources soil cleanup tour. I could mine the silicates actually. Wish I could find a better silicates deposit to mine though, because they're all very small silicate deposits. Hmm. Oh well, let's just mine the silicon deposits. There we go, 10 silicates. That has to help us with something. I mean, okay. We can also build Marsha up here. I didn't even notice we had Marsha we can build. So let's build that right there. Perfect. Oh! Well, isn't that nice? Love it. Okay, they built a massive bridge. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can expand. I think out of these two, water is obviously more important. So let's grab some water. And we'll build the mine straight away. Because, you know, it's fine. beautiful two more water very nice indeed okay that's good we can also build a photovoltaic field which i can probably build up here once i get some more population in that city so that's fine now i feel like this one really needs to expand somehow if i just maybe if i put the ro the robots here no it's fine but now for now we've got nothing else we need to do so it's okay let's end the turn all right, oxygen factory, soil factory, habitation module. None of those are interesting. Let's go. I mean, technically the habitation module, but it, I want to replace it later anyway, right? So what's the point? Technically, you could say that about everything, though. Okay, look, for now, I just want to get more resources. And I think if I get a little bit more of this silicate, it'll help me build my university and that will help that other city grow anyway because i think it grows of any other oh, this one this one will grow with that so if we put the mill this we put this in the middle here it'll work great there we go we have our first university beautiful everyone will be happy with that which is lovely everyone like that so that's fine let's go again all right so we've got a thermo energy generator we've got a robot ingenuity center Honestly, that would be really good combined with this. So, yes, let's get the Robot Ingenuity Center for later as well. It does make me wonder, though, if we need a new city to use this on. So, yes, let's see where else we can explore. We want a city somewhere far away from our current cities, obviously. So, I still think somewhere over here would be nice. But, like, it also feels like a lot of things are breaking. Hmm. Okay. That one probably feels like it's going to be too flood easily flooded. 
because this one is already too. All right, let's go over here and keep going down south here. All right, it's fine. All right, just an empty, crappy space. That's okay. But yeah, I think if I could have a city right here somewhere, that would be lovely. So that's okay. In fact, we can do an exploration ourselves. It's fine. Let's just do this crappy one right here. Yep, nice flat plains. We could build a city there, but it's kind of shitty too. A shitty city, once again. That's okay. All right. Hydroponic farm. I could just build another farm here. I do already have an issue where I could just put that there and get the extra food, so... Oh, hello. Oh. Oh! So that's what it was. That's what meant by more buildings. I need to put more... Oh. Okay. So when I was filling it up, it wasn't to make it bigger. It was to... Okay. I get it now. That's okay. That's okay. A research center. Useless. I don't need that many projects. Um, science per turn. Okay, but I don't have silicate, so no. I think exploring down here would not be a bad idea. Okay, for now, I guess it's mining again. Which, once again, probably means silicate, so... There we go. More silicates. Beautiful. Oh, the uh, atmosphere is already raising up really quickly. Okay. Oh, I, I want to... Excuse me. I didn't actually mean to... I didn't actually mean to dis say no to that. I just accidentally right-clicked it. Okay, there we go. Research. All right. Magnetic fusion. Why would that be negative one comfort of living? Fusion is a really, really, really good thing. Okay, this one would be helpful if I want to also build the robots. So let's get that. Enable this and then start to pump out this one. Alright, so more water oceans are going to be coming, which means we'll probably see the first parts of the planet start to... In fact, there's water there already. So yes, we'll see the first parts of the planet start to go a little bit, yeah, worse or better, depending on how you feel. I guess better, technically. Okay. Now, if that's the case, I was hoping it would mean more buildings full stop, but... Let's just build this here. Or we won't build up here. And then we could build another for place over here. And then we could build the robot thing there. So yeah, let's just do that. There's one. And we'll build the robot protection facility here. Yes. And then we'll build another robot thing over there. So that's fine. Can't really use those people yet, but we can use it to build more stuff. So we can already start to build... Oh, never mind. Oh, that one still works. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Wait, if I if I expand over here, does this give me more expansion slots for this city? No. No, it does not. It just gets rid of it altogether. Fair enough. Restart the volcano. Alright, Titan Awakens. Okay, it's got a dead volcano. Alright. That's fair, I guess. Um, ooh, this is now rich soil, which means I can build nitrates mine here. Or an agricultural complex, which would, of course, increase more food than we even have in general. I think a nitrates mine would be more useful. We don't have as much nitrates as we do food, but still. In fact, hmm. No, this one can go this one. It's fine. So we could expand down here. It's kind of a shitty place anyway, so yeah, let's just expand here. It's okay. And then we can build the photovoltaic position here to get more in the way of power. Which is a good idea as well. Okay. Okay, okay. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to build a city here. So we can build one more out. And... Oh, God, it's getting expensive. 
All right, so more place for mining and stuff. This is fine. This is fine. It's okay. We are supporting ourselves. It's okay. I don't know if we're doing good idea, doing good job here, but that's okay. Let's do a soil, soil cleanup service uh, over here. Yeah, he's very expensive, actually, so I can't actually use the soil cleanup service. Um, I suppose the only thing we could do is more dry earthworks. We we once again know we can't clear everything. We don't have enough stuff. Like we can't use enough. But honestly, three rocks. That's like three energy a piece. Right. So it's fine. It's fine. That's good. Okay. I think that was a fairly successful thing. And oh god, more expectations. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Domed Park must be built in the city. And Paver Road. Okay, that's honestly was really useful last time. In fact, Emi Park. Emi Flat, sorry. That sounds like a perfect. Hey, it might be Emi Park eventually. There'd be a lot more park here soon. Um, Let's just build this over here. It's kind of a bit of a shame. Uh, no. Or do we want to just save the power and build an Android hub? No, we don't. We'll build that in the other place. So yes, no, this is the perfect place thing for us right now. So let's build that up. It's fine. All right, we've got some expansion, so we can expand this large resource depot. The this large resource thing, which is good. Um, could we build it straight away, actually. No reason why not to. I know we're saving on power, but that's okay. And we can expand over here, which is good too. And as much as they won't like it, I think we expand down here and build the viewpoint tower as well. There we go. Comfort of living goes up a little bit. That's okay. And that could be a silicate deposit. So let's do a little scanny scan here. It is a silicate deposit as well, which is good. But still, I, maybe we need to build. I, mean, I think if that was a city, but it's not going to be a city. It's going to be a water deposit. This one, however, could be a city. So that would work. All right. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. All right. We can build. I reckon build the animal spreader here, or could also build a spaceport which connects to this city which is not a bad idea okay it's all good it's all good two more turns till this is done hmm I think at this point we can probably not afford anything right yeah we can't afford anything right now so <sighs> I can't do anything with him he's too expensive they're all very expensive now so okay all right a cacti that's useful Temperature 3, less so. Temperature 1 and rainfall 1 for an alpine forest. Yeah, let's go for that. Alpine forest. And speaking of, our oxygen level has increased, which is good. Import oceans from Ceres, again, would be not a bad idea. University, eh. Research center, eh. Let's, I mean, then again, the research center might actually help. I've only got two at the moment, but I wouldn't mind having a couple of extra. Ah, screw it. Let's get a research center. I was going eh, but realistically, I am reaching a point where it might be valuable to have a bit more options. So let's just build this over here somewhere. Okay. Cool. We can also build our plant spreader. Not that we'll be able to use it yet, but um, I guess that's what we'll have to go here then. Okay, plant spreader. So we currently can only spread one thing, and unfortunately, there is nothing we, we don't have the ability to. There's no suitable place for it. With one temperature, one rainfall. But there should be when finally this water gets improved. Like, I've been trying to throw water on this for so long. But anyway, it's okay. The water is definitely coming. It's, it's getting greener over here, but uh, it's definitely taking its sweet time. That's, that's okay. That's okay. All right, at the moment, I think we just wait. You've really done a great job as leader, so don't worry. I'm not not using you for because of any particular reason. All right. Honestly, good jo good job. So we got, um, oh my god, she's got a bird. She's got a cockatoo. She's bringing cockatoos to Mars and squirrels. But cockatoos. Flora saw fields of green spread across the barren landscape, red planet. No, you didn't. Our fascination for nature. She went on a side trip to, to, trip to Earth. The birth of life. These follow traces and pollution of the, na Earth's natural habitats. Disappointed her deeply. On her return, she founded the Gardens of Mars, Ecological Association for Gold Spraying Life, free from human meddling. Okay. So, correcting plant spreaders costs expensive, less life traits. Eh. Accelerate proliferation of life. That's pretty good. 
Import life form. Eh. Okay. Unfortunately, she's not that useful. Oh, I know who you're related to. You've got to be, right? So, D Dija Robinson. Named after the Martian princess um, from the old science fiction classic, Delija grew up with the idea that Mars is a fantastic place full of mystery and wonder. A holiday trip to Earth and her youth only strengthened that image. One visit was enough to realize the stark contrast between two planets. How much adventure Mars offered in comparison. When she returns, she decides she would find a tourism agency, have a heavily advertised her services to Earthlings, offering adventurous safari trips across the dunes red planet. Unlike other interplanetary tourism agencies, she aimed for a broad middle-class clientele, cheap flights, affordable accommodation, and family-focused activities. Her business saw great success and massive growth of Martian tourism sector. So, tourism. New planet location upgrades that provide support or comfort of living. That sounds nice. Space hotels. I mean, I've already started constructing some, but okay. Oh, but I can make a new one. Oh, that's actually really valuable. Oh, three random resources each to, to to each of your space projects. Only applied once per space space project. Well, that's cool. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's fun. All right, we get to jump in straight away with some more cultured meat. I'm thinking Marsha would be good. Because once again, but first in Pelican's Roost, let's just build this and that. Will be very nice because it goes increases by four, which is good. We've got plenty of more space here apparently, although it didn't count. Or increasing the amount of buildings apparently oh well, we've got two more well one more spot apparently so it's okay eh, it's okay pelicans roost you're fine emu flats however i can improve you by putting you right there which is perfect because we could build a hospital or something there great it'd be great all right so let's expand out again we could get the silicates but honestly it's a little bit far out i think we get this and that way i'll build a spaceport down here or something else, maybe another spreader of some description, but that's okay. We can build this, but not yet, so it's okay. Alright, let's keep exploring. We've got cheaper exploration again. We've got alternate space materials, which is fine. I think we'll build a space motel, and then we'll get a few of those going, basically. Oh, oops. Did I just click away from that? I didn't... Can I undo that? Undo. Revert. Okay. I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay, cool. Enter. God, more expectations. Come on, guys. Um, import gas from ga hydrogen from gas giant. No, not great. Not bad. Not fantastic. Okay. I think a school wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not sure where I put it. I guess it needs to be somewhere popular. Oh, I know where I'll put it. Like right here. It's perfect. More science and more people will be happier because they'll be more educated, which is always a positive. That's fantastic. All right, let's also do another spaceport because once again, we can afford it and twice um, we can also use her ability next turn and that'll be fun. All right, let's keep exploring down here. I think this one is most likely to be, yep, a crater. Fantastic. All right, it's a pretty shitty one. So I'll see if I can find a better place than that, but still. It's fine. All right, cool. All right, another space hotel. We can't do that. Insect farm produces three food. No people aren't happy about. It. Honestly, all these seem pretty eh at the moment. So let's just get rid of that. All right, let's build the spaceport here. Beautiful. Which means we can, of course increase the amount of there we go assisted that one there there we go perfect now provide three random resources there we go seems pretty good to me this is only applied once per space project so I probably will have to finish these before anything happens but that's okay in fact realistically this one will not be able to finish as fast as the other two anyway so let's just try and finish those ones really quickly that'd be fine We've got four. We've got plenty of um, titanium increase, so that's fine. Oh, we can build the nitrate facility, which is not a bad idea. So let's do that. Oh, no, we can build an agricultural complex, which we don't need. So no. All right, I think we're good. All right. So water, meh. Ooh, skyscraper. 
Both population and robots increase the maximum city. Blah, blah, blah. I did see apartment buildings. It's This is the building that said I could replace with... I could replace the thing with, right? So... Let's build that and then put it into the Owl's Burrow. No, do I want the Owl's Burrow? I mean, it could still expand over here, so maybe. Um, it could expand over here. Just kind of. Hmm. It could also expand down here. I don't know. It's got it's got a lot more options. So yes, let's just put it here. That's the main thing. I'm going to explain replace that. So replace the headquarters with that. Oh wow, that was that made quite a difference to the background. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. That's going to be water eventually. So leave that for now. The crater. There's nothing we can really do about these territories. Like, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think everything's fine. All right. Can we do this again? Will it? No, it only works once. It was when it said once, it meant once per unique project, which is okay. But, but yeah. That's okay. We need to test it. So that's all right. One more turn, then we can do some more exploration anyway. These, I think, didn't cost us anything, so that's okay. All right, cool. What's this? Courthouse. Hmm. Three plus comfort of living. I mean, that just looks like a good building for anywhere. So yeah, let's build that. In fact, we could probably build that in our lovely wet crater colony although we might want to check where is what is the quality of living of all these places so hmm although i do have to mint i'm not sure which place has bad quality of living there was a place that wasn't there a place we did have bad quality of living how do we find out? So this is happiness. Comfort of living city, two. Okay, so we'll just check which one's the lowest. That one's three, that's fine. Was well, Emu Flats? Yeah, it only has a one. So that one's not great in comparison. This one is one as well. Hmm. I think Emu Flats has more growth potential. So making it better is probably a good idea. So just put it right over here. There we go. All right. We can also build a CO2 factory. Hmm, but we want to probably build that somewhere where it won't have people around it. So, like, ever. So, somewhere like this. Yeah, like, let's build this CO2 factory over here, for example. Perfect. Okay, cool, cool. And we can also do the animal spreader still, which I would really love to do if we had the space for it, which we do if we just expand out one more time here, for example. We can build the animal spreader right here as well. And then we can see. Can we spread anything? We cannot spread anything yet until we can get the oxygen up. But at least we've got all three types of spreaders, right? So that's a positive. I'd also would like to explore this territory here if I can. So let's see if we can send her though. To, to power we don't have it. Okay. Fine. We'll go down here and we'll do the um I want right there maybe. No, actually. Here. Let's do the satellite here. Okay. Okay, another silicate. Large silicate. Low and large heating silicate. Just means it's going to be another silicate deposit. How about down here? This seems like a good place. That's okay. It's okay. These are almost done, which means we'll start doing something else soon. That's alright. Got no more cards, so... Oh well, next. Alright, atmosphere level increased. 200 support in all city. Um, one plus additional thing of that. So now we're up to a new stage of atmosphere. Atmosphere increased in sickness. Thickness. Oh. Okay. Mission success. Wait, mission success. Wait, what? Oh, I did see that. Basically, it meant that. Okay. So this is it for this live this campaign. Oh, I want terrible a little bit more than that, but okay. I, I did hear this has multiple times. Let's see what happens when we end the game. Oh, <laughs> he seems so happy. Oh, you have succeeded. You've managed to develop a Martian civilization to a sustainable level, and your endeavors have met with the approval of governments of Earth and the settlers alike. The burgeoning Mars society is on good track to tackle the risks, the ter tasks of terrifying the planet Earth. Many more challenges remain. Oh, excuse me, I wasn't done reading that, but okay. Ooh, new content. 
Lena Cortez, Culture. Alex Mamba. Ooh, and a rarer one. Uh, okay, wait. What does that mean? Tier one, tier two. Maybe that means these ones will come later. This is an Earth. These are Earth people. This is a Mars person, maybe. Okay. Oh, another one. Ooh, regolith burner. What's this do? Power per turn produces atmosphere per adjacent rock. Well, that's cool. Rover exploration gives an exploration action. This recharges time scales distance from the exploration center. Oh. Why are you? Okay. Next level content unlock. Okay. So it says igloos. Fully protected by radiation. As long as it's in the negative. Okay. Kind of useless to me. Touring company. Support for every plant, plant location. Providing support and comfort living. Okay. And a seed vault. That's cool. Oh god. How many levels did I get up? Okay. Three apparently. Three is how many I got up. All right, scenario points 300, scenario success, scenario success 56 turns, apparently pretty good. Yeah, so okay, that's good. It was said that Rome was not built in a day, but Mars certainly was. Well, in a few hours. How long have we been playing this? Two hours. Hmm, not too bad. Um, fast passing, also expectations, and impressive achievement. Rapid expansion. <laughs> okay, I did pretty well. But your mastery level will give you access to more scenarios at high difficulty. You increase your mastery levels by one for each two, and three for each gold, and five for each... Oh! Oh, I did really well! Ha <laughs> ha okay. Sorry, I didn't realize I did that well. I, I did fantastically, apparently. That is, that is fantastic news. Okay, I got the highest possible ranking. Okay, extra starting options. By reaching at least 50 victory points, you unlocked extra starting options. Now continue Terraform mid no, let's go back to main menu. Okay. Okay, I like this game. I like this game a lot. I like that it has a continue button, but ooh. There's lots of things here, isn't there? Okay, so we've got a few things that are still currently blocked. We've got the red path, which we've done difficulty normal, and we've done that to highest level, which is fine. This one, difficulty challenging, hard. Or we can go to the red path. Okay, so it says we go to Mars because next logical step for humanity. Okay, the red path. We go to Mars for profit and sustain the luxuries we've gotten used to on, on Earth. Okay. Ah. Oh, interesting. We can even skip things apparently, so we can skip the difficulties and go straight up if we want to. Okay. okay, that's normal difficulty. Okay, obviously they don't all have normal, so challenging and then hard. Okay, green path also doesn't have normal, so yeah, that one, okay, I did well, but only because it was the only option. Alright, so we go to Mars because we're, we give it New Haven away from Earth, and this one, create a second Earth and learn how to better take care of our cradles, that's pretty cool. First challenge, terraforming. Okay. And this one, Mars on the beginning. Our launch pad was other planets is in our goal. Oh, okay. So this is the next step is one of these three. I'm probably up this level of difficulty. So, okay, that's... That's fun. Okay, and we get to level 45. So if we tr don't like one, we can try all the others. That's fun. And there's still two more, which are... Uh, which are... Which we unlock till later, which are even harder. I'm going to assume the things we unlock too are pretty... Yeah. We can also make a custom one. Ooh, so I could just make endless if expectations utopian. Oh, okay. Let's. I see. I think just regular would be fine. Environments harmless, annihilating. Oh god. Okay, I see. That's cool. I like with the fact that we can make it make an endless one. That's nice. Weekly challenge. All right. I don't really care that much about weekly challenges, but that's that's okay. It's nice. It's an option. Play at your own risk. Holy shit, that's that's the difficulty scale. Oh dear, that means this is going to get really hard really quickly. Gotcha. You know, it sort of gives me civilization vibes, but also gives me, um, what's it called? That mining game they did, that Stardock did. What was that called? Let me just check what it was. It wasn't Stardock that did it, I think they just published it. But it reminds me very much of that game that they did. 
published. So let me just check see what the name is. Okay. Nope. Um, Galso is one they beg. It's a galactic civilization. So that way I can get to their page, and from their page I can find out what their thing is called. But I feel bad that I forgot it. Um, Off World Trading Company. It gives me a little bit of Off World Trading Company vibes, which is a massive, massive um, like compliment. I'll definitely play more of this, and hell, who knows, maybe you'll see another video at some point. Um, for now, though, this has been Terraformers. Um, and yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.